Praise God, today is Wednesday, and we want to invite you to come and be with us. This is uh, the 24th, is that right? Yes, That's correct. Uh, amen. And so uh, we're teaching on Wednesday night, I'm teaching on uh, the subject of uh, how do I follow God? How do I know I'm following God? Mm -hmm. You know, And to me, that is the question that every Christian has. They, we struggle sometimes with that, am I doing the what God wants me to do. Am I going where he wants me to go? You know, doing what he wants me to do, that type of thing. So come Wednesday night and uh, you'll be blessed by that. We had a great class last week and um, so I know you'll be blessed. Amen. Today, uh, we are, the title of our devotion is To Obey Is Better. And Deuteronomy chapter 11 I know we've got 1 Samuel 15, 22 up there. That's another scripture. But I want to start with Deuteronomy 11, 13 through 14. And it shall be that if you earnestly obey my commandments, which I command you today to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart, with all your soul, then I will give you rain for your land in its season, early rain and latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine and your oil. Amen. And, uh, you know, so obedience to the commandments. You know, I, I think sometimes because we, Pastor Marshall, we live in the New Testament and not the Old Testament, is we don't really have to worry about the commandments of God, you know. But really and truly, Jesus did not come to do away with That's the right. Word of God, the Old Testament. He came to fulfill it. That's what yeah. the Word of God tells us. Jesus said, I've come to not to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law. And so sometimes we think, okay, I know God said I shouldn't do that, but hey, it's easier to get forgiveness than it is permission, right? You know, and so then we do that. And uh, there's a story in the Bible, and it's here in 1 Samuel 15, 22, and it is about King Saul. Now, God anointed King Saul. He was the first king of Israel. You know that they, Samuel was the last prophet. And uh, 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 the people said, we want to be like the other nations. We want a king. And so um, Samuel brought the families, these families before God and God selected Saul. Saul was a good king up until the point where he disobeyed God. And he was going to go into battle. And the prophet told him, uh, you, you don't go until I get there. We'll make a sacrifice. And uh, uh, S S uh, Saul did not do that. And so he did not do what God had told him to do. And because of that, Saul lost his kingdom. David became king. And uh, it's important for us to understand because uh, Samuel said to Saul, has the Lord as much delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. So uh, you, may, you may ask forgiveness and God will forgive you, but there are consequences to yeah. disobedience. Well, we, we just need to learn to listen to His Spirit. His Spirit on the inside of us, in our heart. There's obedience to His Word. There's obedience to what He tells us to do. You know, we'll say, Oh God, help me with this situation. Show me what to do. And then he shows you in your heart. You have a witness in your heart that this is what you're supposed to do. And then you go, are you sure that there's something else we could do better? You know, God yeah. switch. That's not obedience. That's obedience not. is doing what he says. Yeah. And the sacrifice, to me, sacrifice is expected of us as well. But it's not uh, going to be rewarded like your uh, obedience to God. You know, when, yeah. when you do things, when God tells you to do it, and you don't do it, there's going to be consequences. Not because God's punishing you, but because He shows you the right way to go. Yeah. The right thing to do. Yeah. But if you don't aren't obedient, then you're going to uh, reap the circumstances. And we see this, all of us, when we were young as kids, uh, uh, young adults even, we'd make decisions and then we'd have to live out our decisions, the consequences of our decisions. But if I had listened to what the Holy Spirit was telling me, I would not have had near the heartache. I wouldn't have had a heartache yeah. at all because he doesn't want that for me. Right. Don't yes, you agree? But, yeah. Um, let me give you a statement here today and understand this. God doesn't bless effort. He blesses obedience. That's right. You know, and uh, it's interesting because, uh, again, we go to the Word of God and we find out, does, does God want you to come to church? 
Okay? Of course. And yes, he does, because it says in Hebrews 10, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. That's right. You know, we, so we need to be in church. So, so you say to the Lord, Lord, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to sacrifice watching the football game yeah. to go to sacrifice church. I'm going to sacrifice not going fishing. This yeah, morning. yeah, to go to I'm church. I'm going to sacrifice so, you know, not sleeping For you, in. Lord, this is a sacrifice. Yes. And really, it's not because really if for you to not do that is disobedience right. to God. And the consequences and, yes. are there. And Jesus made this statement. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And so we need to follow after the word of God. Our lives need to line up as close to the word of God as we can get them there. Mm -hmm. And that's what's important in our lives and important in your life too. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. praise God. Well, we love you, bless you. Have a wonderful day today. And uh, if you're here in Georgetown, hope to see you tonight at uh, the if service. Not, they can tune six in. o'clock. Oh yeah, six o'clock. Tune in on six o'clock Facebook Live or six o'clock here in person. God bless.